Hello, my name is Dr. Paul Choi. I am the director of endoscopy at the Los Angeles Endoscopy Center. I am also a fellow member of American Gastroenterological Association. In this video, I'll be discussing gastrointestinal bleeding or GI bleeding. GI bleeding is a very common condition that occurs when there is bleeding in the gastrointestinal tract. The bleeding may occur anywhere in the GI tract between mouth and the anus. The most common site of bleeding in the upper intestinal tract includes the esophagus, the stomach, and the first portion of the small intestine called duodenum. The most common site of the lower GI bleeding is the colon. An acute GI bleeding occurs when there is a sudden and significant amount of bleeding in the gastrointestinal tract. This is often manifested by vomiting of fresh blood or coffee ground. There can be maroonish or fresh blood per rectum. An acute GI bleeding is often associated with a drop in blood pressure due to significant amount of blood loss. As a result, individuals affected may appear pale and complain of dizziness and weakness. This can be a life-threatening condition and usually these patients require inpatient observation, hydration, and transfusion at times, and measures to stop the bleeding. Chronic GI bleeding, on the other hand, is often insidious and may not be apparent. Individuals affected usually complain of fatigue, shortness of breath, and lack of energy. They may sometimes complain of anorexia and weight loss. The most common cause of an acute upper GI bleeding includes esophageal varices related to the cirrhosis of the liver, a tear in the lower esophagus called Mallory Weiss tear, ulcer in the stomach or duodenum, vascular malformation called angiodysplasia of the colon, and diverticulosis. The cause of chronic GI bleeding include esophagitis often due to reflux disease, gastritis or inflammation of the stomach wall, esophageal or stomach cancer, colon polyp, colon cancer, and even hemorrhoid. In patients with suspected or documented GI bleeding, Endoscopic evaluation following stabilization of patients is usually indicated. Depending on the suspected site of bleeding, an upper endoscopy or colonoscopy or even both may be performed to localize the site of bleeding, to implement measures to stop the bleeding, and possibly per to perform a biopsy for tissue diagnosis. GI bleeding is a very common condition that can occur anywhere in the gastrointestinal tract. It can be due to a life-threatening condition and may require an acute intervention. A documented case of GI bleeding often requires an endoscopic evaluation both to diagnose and to treat the cause of bleeding. Thank you for listening.